Hello again, everyone. Welcome to Coffee Break. Five minutes with God, five minutes in the Word of God, five minutes to taste and see that the Lord is good. Psalm 119, verse 31 is what I will be reading today. Father, sanctify us by your truth. Your word is truth. In Jesus' name, amen. Psalm 119, verse 31. The writer says, I have stuck unto thy testimonies, O Lord. Put me not to shame. You know, the Bible says, those who trust in God shall never be put to shame. And I think sometimes people don't understand the definition of trusting in God. Some people think that trusting in God means trusting that God will give them what they want. That's not trusting in God. Trusting in God means that you believe that God knows what's best. He's smarter than you or anyone else. He knows what's best because he's all wise. He can do what's best because he's all powerful. And he always wants what's best for us, his children, because he's all loving. Those three pillars, he's all loving, he's all powerful, he's all knowing. Those three pillars help us to trust in God. And so to trust God is to believe those three things. And since we believe that he knows what's best, that means his word is best for us. His commands are best for us. The lifestyle that he has laid out in scripture is best for us. The things that he tells us to avoid, we realize that those are good things to avoid, and we should. The things that he tells us to do are things that we should do because he knows what's best. So it means obedience. Trusting God means trusting in his wisdom and obeying him, and then trusting him with the results of that obedience whether it's something that we want, whether it's something we don't want, trusting in his sovereignty. I have just recently been praying about something, and I got a no answer today. And I was praying with Aaron, my son, as we were waiting for the answer, and it, was, it came back no, at least at this point. And we prayed, and we were on the phone, and the first thing I did was, Lord, i uh, don't necessarily like this answer, but we trust in your providence. We trust in your wisdom. We trust in your plan. That's what it means to trust God. And until you have that faith in the wisdom and the love and the power of God, you will never have peace. What I'm saying, I guess, is as long as you have an agenda, a personal agenda, apart from trusting God's will, You'll never have peace. And so the writer says, I have stuck to thy testimonies. means I've obeyed you, Lord. Remember, that's what I was talking about. That's the big part about trusting God. I have stuck to thy testimonies, O Lord. Put me not to shame. And again, I repeat the scripture that says, no one who puts their trust in God will ever be put to shame. And so he stuck to the testimonies of the word of God. That's how the writer stuck to God. Like glue. Unbelievers and scoffers could not pry the word of God off of his soul. Trouble could not pry the word of God off of his soul. And the message to us is this. Stick to the word and put your trust in God. Stick to the word. God says, buy the truth and sell it not. Not for anyone, not for anything, not for any relationship, not for any amount of money, not for any job. Buy the truth and sell it not. Stick to the word and put your trust in God. For more of God's word, go to thebibleversebyverse.com. Until next time, so long.